Okay, for the next part, convincing of effective buy and sell signal. For for the buy and sell signal, uh, the close and all price breakthrough MA. How we call the buy and sell signal is effective one. Okay, so the first one we can see this the close and all prices break through the MA. Okay, like this. Uh, uh, maybe it's a bit small, uh, but you can see lah. Uh, here got a yellow line here. Mm. So how we can know the the signal, the buy or sell signal is effective, then you can see lah, maybe the close and all price is break through the MA. Uh, it's above the MA line. So which means it is an effective one. Lah. Then the second is the breakthrough of close the, to MA reach a certain range. Okay, so there is a certain increase like this. Uh, the candlestick got certain increase one. Uh, then the point is stand above or below the MA for two days. Uh, so sometimes you uh if you want to know is this an effective buy or sell signal, then you need to see the candlestick lah. Is it more than two days is above the MA line or below the MA line? Because uh, sometimes uh, you see uh you only see one candlestick above or below the MA line, not really accurate but you can see the second or third candlestick also la. last time uh, we have talking about this if you want to know the effective of the candlestick then you need to see how many days uh, of the of the candlestick la. Uh, like three uh, three days or more than 30 percent of the candlestick uh, if you want to know the effectiveness of the buy or sell signal Mm. like you are uh, like for example lah, for example if here is a buy signal then you need to see okay the first candlestick is above the MA line then you need to see is it the second also uh, second candlestick is above or not if yes then you can if you want uh, if you want be uh, more careful then you see the third day lah Ah, uh, if third day also above the MA line, so maybe it's a signal. Ah, uh, it's an effective signal lah. So verify MA signal by other any uh, analytical tools, but neglect this signal if not injured with MA. Okay, how we say ah, uh, sometimes ah, uh, uh, MA. Okay, if we use, use MA to see the buy and sell signal, if you not uh, not really uh, conform, is this uh, uh, really is an effective buy and sell signal, then you can apply another, combine another indicator together to do the analysis. Of course, uh, if you if you see that a eh, the uh the indicator the another indicator show you is another answer, then you may ignore this buy and sell signal lah. Uh, because why MA is sensitive one, uh, sensitive of the price. Uh, so sometimes you will uh sometimes will a bit uh not so accurate. So that's why you cannot use one indicator to just all. Of, uh, all your stock uh, cannot uh, uh, you cannot use hey, I just learned MA and then go buy and uh, go buy the stock and sell the stock cannot you need to apply another combine another indicator so then you will get the more accurate analyzing uh, so until here is it okay uh? What MLI is this? Uh, short or uh, medium? You mean this example? Uh? Oh, this is an example only. Uh, normally, you can set the MLI by yourself also. Uh, later, I will talk about this. Uh, talk a bit about this. Uh. Mm. Uh, different MLI got different colors. So, like, uh, later, I will tell you. Mm. 
Okay, so we go to section 3, cross of MA. So, for here, yeah. okay, so we need to know whether uh, for uh, we are making a short term, middle term, middle long term, or long term investment. We need to understand ourselves. Lah. If you do short term or middle term, or middle long or long term is different one. So the match the moving average parameter with different effect according to the effect you want. Uh, you want. Uh, okay, so here. We go to the cross MA first. Uh, function of different kind of MA. For the long term MA, describe the primary trend of price. And then for the short term MA, select buy or sell time. Mm. So for here, already tell you that for the long term MA, we can describe the trend, uh, uh, trend of the price. And then for the short term, normally we can use for buy or sales time. So combine variance terms of MS with the price to just the trend direction. Okay, we go to see here. So few of uh few few of the signal of the MAR, we can use it to just uh also is it a buy uh buy or sell also. Uh, so the first cross of MA, uh, first cross of MA, here we got the golden cross. Uh, so what is golden cross? For the manifestation of golden cross, it's formed when short-term MA upwards break through the long-term MA. Uh, means uh, your short-term MA lies is break through the long-term MA lies. Uh. So combine, uh, combine with the price, the golden cross is formed with when short-term MA up, upwards break through the long-term MA. So we go to looking about the example. Lah. Mm, for here is an example. Lah. Okay, so uh, I, I just different, uh, I just use different color to Characteristics the uh, MA line. Okay. For green line is represent the long term because why this is more than a hundred day MA line. And then the red color, uh, the brown color here is about the short term MA line. So for the golden cross, uh, the example is okay. For example, if the long, this is the long term MA line here. Then how to just a golden cross is you see the short term MA line is break through the long term MA line here. So here is got a, a cross mark. So here is a signal, a, a buy signal also. Lah. And also you can see your candlestick is above the MA line also. So that means this is an opportunity. Uh, so this is what we call is golden cross. Uh, uh, an opportunity at here. Mm. So for the golden cross, how to we how we identify the fault signal when the price come back between short term MA and long term MA after it upward break through eh, upward breaking through the long term MA. It indicate the uncertainty of price trend and filler or of bullish signal. So the golden cross is not a de uh, definite buy signal and it can be found when it is in a sideway or rebound of downtrend in downtrend. Which means that you also need to combine with the candlestick. Lah. You need to see your candlestick, your trend also. If your trend is very nice, then you see the long term, uh, your long term MA line is also going upright and then upward. After that, if you see the uh, short term MA line here is crossed, 
and going uptrend here here got a cross then uh, it might consider is a opportunity but if your trend uh, is in a sideway uh, sideway because uh, sideway is up and down up and down up and down uh, so the MA line is very sensitive that's why if your trend is going a sideway the MA line might will uh, might will affect also because too sensitive then it may got uh it may have a wrong adjustment also so that's why here got mentioned uh golden cross uh, is not a definite uh definite buy signal because why if if the trend is in a sideway of or in a rebound then maybe cannot consider a buy signal lah. Okay, so we get we got golden cross, then next we got a dead cross also. Dead cross is mean that ah uh, okay, so here we talk about the dead cross uh, here first. For the dead cross is from when short term MA downwards break through the long term MA MA line so combined with the stock price it is a sell signal when the price downwards break through the short term and a and the downwards break through the long term and a means that uh, means that if you see your stock price ah uh, uh, it's directly break through the uh, MA, uh the short term ma and also a long term ma which means that uh, it is a uh, downtrend already. Lah. Then you also see the MLI. Uh, even though uh, short term also or long term MLI also, also is going a downtrend. Uh, then if you see a park, uh, if you see a park that your, can, uh, your stock price already in a downtrend. Long term also going down and then short term is break through here. Break through the long term here then it may be is a very uh, accurate sell signal lah. Uh, because why already all is going down ma, going downward ma. Mm. okay so for the distinguished fail signal price coming back between short term ma and long term ma after it downward speak through the long term ma so the dead cross is not a definite sell signal and it can be found when it is in a sideways or correction in uptrend so that's why when we want to judge about the dead cross or golden cross we also need to see the stock price also that's why for the golden cross on that cross you need to uh combine together with the trend uh. mm. if the trend already tell uh, tell you is a downtrend then you might be careful uh. or if the uh if the stock price is in uh, uptrend but maybe got some adjustment so maybe we'll uh, show you a that cross in the uptrend then you need to uh you need to apply another indicator to, to see uh, to do the analysis first because uh not uh not the definitely is uh when the dead cross or golden cross is uh is show you uh is a opportunity to buy or sell uh. Uh. so that's why you need to be uh you need to uh be aware uh you need to take care of your uh the trend also as it's in the uptrend or sideway or is a correction in the uptrend you need to know also mm. okay so for here because we got no uh know about the golden cross that cross and then how we how uh how we different it golden cross that cross and also sometimes uh how we know if this is on uh upward breakthrough or downward break uh, breakthrough so for the golden cross uh, how how we can know about the golden cross is appear 
For the gluten cross R is when the long term moving average, ah, uh, uh, the black color one, uh, the long term moving er average in goes flat or up. Uh, if you see the long term MA lines is going a flat or upwards, then the short term moving average cross the long term moving average up, uh, upward. So this is golden cross uh, because why? Uh, long term MA line and is going up. The short term MA line also is in a uh, upward and then break through the long term MA. So this is golden cross. So how we different golden cross and upward breakthrough are? Uh? Upward breakthrough is the long term uh, is in a downtrend. Just the short term MA is in a upward. And then the short term MA is break through the long term. Okay, the long term MA line. So this is the different. Uh. Okay, so for the golden cross you will see that upward uh long term or short term ma also in the up upward but for the upward breakthrough is only the short term is in a upward trend so that's mean uh, the probability of the outcome of the golden cross will be higher than the up break upward breakthrough mm -hmm. And then about that cross R, the difference of the that cross R is that cross R, if you see the MA lines R, both also uh, is in a down, downward. Lah. Like for the long term MA is flat, but going down already. And also short term MA is going down. So this is a that cross R. Hmm. For the downward breakthrough, is long term MA is in a uh, uptrend, just the short term MA is in a downtrend, the downward. So the downward MA is cross the long term MA. So this we call a downward breakthrough. Mm. So that's uh, the probability of the that cross turning downward will be relatively high. But for the downward breakthrough will be relatively low. Mm. This form we need to different it because you need to know each uh, MA line, uh, long term MA or short term MA. If in a different trend, uh, then we'll have a different uh, different characteristics. Uh, it's golden cross or dead cross or upward breakthrough or downward breakthrough. Mm. So in the trend, if you see both long term MA and short term MA also going upward, then this is golden cross bar. So it may show you that uh, the trend is going upward. Uh, but the breakthrough uh, not really is uh, upward because why? The long term MA is still in a downtrend, just the short term MA is going up. Maybe it shows that this is a uh, short. Uh, short uptrend only lah. Uh, so the downward breakthrough also if the long term is still in uh, uptrend but the short term MA is breakthrough it maybe it's a uh, correction uh, and adjustment only so you know uh, no need to so uh, very uh, nervous to uh, buy or sales so you need to different it lah for this form Okay, so still okay. Huh? So after that, we move to the triple crosses. Okay, so for the triple crosses, just now we are talking about the MA lines is about the long term line and short term line. For the triple crosses, it's got three color line. Lah. So here, so here the example you will see lah, it got the three different color line here. Hmm. Normally, uh, normally in the stock, uh, 
of course not only three color la, but uh uh normal uh we we just use these three to different like yellow color one is represent the short term and then here got the white color ma. white color is the middle term and then blue color is represent the long term so for the triple cross uh, how to say uh, for the buying signal of triple crosses short term ma upward break through the medium ma so how we verify it short term ma upward break through the long term ma and then for the uptrend verification uh, is short mid and long term ms are uh, arranged orderly from the top to the bottom hmm. so how we know for the buy signal of the triple cost is initially if you see if you use the ma line here you see the three color uh. so short term here yellow color here ma. and then white color is middle term blue color is for long term if in the uptrend verif uh, verification you will see that every color line is arranged with or daily okay first is short term and then middle term and then the long term both mli a uh, three the uh, three mli also in uh, uptrend so it may consider a uh, uptrend verification mm -hmm. And then for the triple crosses to sell signal, for the triple crosses sell signal is the short term MA downwards break through the middle term MA. So how we verify short term MA downwards break through the long term MA. So if we want to know the downtrend verification, short, middle, and long term MS arranged or the uh, orderly from the bottom to top so initially you will see a three color lines also in the uptrend uh, yellow color white color and blue color but suddenly uh, you will see uh, you will see that if long term is already going a downtrend and then after that uh, the short term and middle term line also break through it so it means that this is a short uh, this is a downtrend verification uh.